Afternoon baseball across the desert southwest. Welcome back everyone. I'm Scott Gross. Prepping college baseball fails a local scorecard along with softball and tennis. Let's get you on to the local diamonds. Geneva Catholic High School. The crowd enjoying a little shade as the Shamrocks look to make it six wins in a row against the Bulldogs of Kingman. Bottom one. Rocks already up 4-0. Alan Kuhn. Tomahawks a first pitch coming his way. Watch this. Bam! There it goes. And that will be Anthony Carrillo on his horse. Racing around third base, he easily scores from second. Rocks take a 5-0 lead. Senior captain Austin Priest, well, he's enjoying a very comfortable lead heading into the top of the second. Kingman's leadoff batter. He's going to take this pitch from Priest down the first baseline, which can be scooped up by Nomar Tapiti for the first out. Moments later, with a runner on first, Priest induces a slow roller to short. Juan Lugo with the toss to second. The relay to first, not in time. Next, it'll be Priest getting the final out on his own. Watch how he's going to paint the outside part of the plate against the lefty. Yuma Catholic rolls it home for their sixth win in a row, cruising by Kingman 18-3 in five innings. Now, just east of Yuma to Caleb Rosado and Gila Ridge taking on Raymond S. Kellis as the Hawks bats would struggle early. Bottom of the first leadoff hitter Keaton Young gets too far underneath his pitch, flies out to deep center field. It's the first Hawks out. Two batters later, Aiden Schmidgo grounds this offering to third and can't get to the bag in time. Ridge would go down in order. To the top of the second we go, Rosado was dialed in, getting the leadoff hitter to strike out swinging. Then he'll get the next batter to go down looking. That's a backwards K. Second strikeout of the afternoon. Now after allowing a runner on base, he gets this batter to dribble out to a soft grounder. Rosado picks it up, makes the toss to first for the third and final out. Ridge would go on to soar in this one, getting the 12-2 win. From the preps to college, Walt Kamen Field is the site as the 10th ranked Matadors locked in with Joseph Tavares. On the bump, taking on the Gila Monsters out of eastern Arizona. Top of the first, Tavares in some trouble as Khalil Walker lines this one to right, allowing Colin Kirk to slide safely into third. Gila Monsters with runners now on the corners, only one out. But the Mats would maneuver their way out of the jam. Tavares paints the corner for strike three. And then catcher Tyler Leroy does the rest. Fires it down to second for the strike him out, throw him out double play to end the inning. A-dub would go three and out in the bottom half, so it's Tavares back at work, and he's doing double duty, fielding the hot shot back at him, then catching the runner in a pickle, picking him off at second base for the up. Uh, to the bottom of the second, which turned out to be a walk party. J.C. Navarro works a third straight walk to load the bases for Tyler Leroy. Maridors keep the train moving. They win 6-1 in game one. They take game two as well, 12-2, with only eight regular season games left. We go west to the Imperial Valley, where IVC played host to Pacific Coast Athletic Conference frontrunner Palomar. We go to the top of the second. Comets getting a base hit, allowing runners at the corners. Put a little pressure on IVC early. Next batter will be starting pitcher Isaac Martinez, allowing another base hit. That turns into an RBI. The home team trailing from the outset. We go to the bottom of the second. Next, it'll be Eric Villarreal. And he's going to drive a pitch to center. You'll see here very, very shortly for one of his two base hits on the afternoon. Brian Martin uh, would try to advance the base run a little bit later. He would go down swinging. This game would not be uh, IBC's. Uh, they take an 18 nothing thumping. To the Yuma Catholic softball fields with a nice crowd on hand with the Kingman Bulldogs in town to face the Lady Shamrocks. Both teams winners of four of their past five games. Kingman's Madison Chamberlain trying to protect a two-run lead. There she is, home half of the first, Alyssa Soto leading things off for the Rocks, and she sends a moonshot to shallow left field. Bulldogs can't play it. Soto is going to be on first. Next batter is going to be freshman Melin Milan, and she hits a chopper right in front of home. The catcher's throw is going to be off the mark. Milan safe at first. Soto will scoot over to third. Moments later, now the bases are loaded. The Rocks' Melanie Jones hits a comebacker to Chamberlain. She throws home, but it's dropped by the catcher. Soto will score. Rocks down 2-1. to one. Now, after the bases are loaded, a walk tied the score at 2. Chamberlain's pitch gets away from the catcher. Alondra Cordova races home from third. She gives the Rocks a 3-2 lead. Kingman comes back to win this one, a great one by a score of 10-7. The Imperial Valley League kicked off its boys tennis singles and doubles postseason tournament today at Southwest High School in El Centro. The top five finishers in each category will play in the CIF San Diego section singles and doubles postseason tournament beginning on May 9th. 
The local postseason singles and doubles tournament will determine who is the number one singles player and the number one doubles team in the league. Champions will be crowned on Wednesday afternoon. And finally, we finish with Prep Girls Tennis, where the Gila Ridge Hawks seeking to snap their two-match losing streak. No problems doing that as they delivered a convincing win over Westview today by a score of 9 to nothing. Congratulations, ladies. That's all the time we have for sports.